Hubble spots possible evidence of water on Earth-sized Trappist-1 planets. The outer planets in the system, including the three in the habitable zone, might have substantial amounts of liquid water. Perhaps the most exciting exoplanet discovery to date was announced earlier this year when researchers using multiple telescopes confirmed that there are seven Earth-sized planets orbiting a star just 40 light-years away. Planetary scientists believed these were rocky worlds with atmospheres, possibly capable of supporting liquid water, especially the three planets that orbit in the habitable zone where surface temperatures could hover between zero and 100 degrees Celsius. Now, Hubble has spotted possible signs of water. An international team of scientists, led by Swiss astronomer Vincent Buria of the Observatory Eidel Universites de Genève, used the space telescope to study the amount of ultraviolet light hitting the planets, and measure the amount of hydrogen these worlds are venting into space. The results suggest the innermost planets. Trappist 1b and Trappist 1c, could have lost as much as 20 Earth oceans worth of water in the last 8 billion years. The outer planets, however, including E, F, and G, which orbits in the habitable zone, would have lost less water, and could still retain vast stores of liquid water on the surface. Ultraviolet light breaks up molecules in the atmosphere here on Earth as well as on other planets a process scientists call photodissociation. Ultraviolet radiation is an important factor in the atmospheric evolution of planets, says Buria. As in our own atmosphere, where ultraviolet sunlight breaks molecules apart, ultraviolet starlight can break water vapor in the atmospheres of exoplanets into hydrogen and oxygen. Low energy ultraviolet light breaks water vapor molecules apart, while higher energy radiation such as X rays heat the atmosphere and cause the constituent parts of water hydrogen and oxygen to escape out into space. Hydrogen, the lightest element, is particularly prone to this process and seeps out of a planet's atmosphere in more abundance than anything else. The researchers used Hubble to measure the amount of ambient hydrogen floating around the Trappist-1 planets as well as the intensity of ultraviolet light coming from the host star, an ultra-cool dwarf star. The amount of ultraviolet radiation coming from Trappist-1 suggests the inner planets could have lost an enormous amount of water over the eons, something that is supported by the abundant hydrogen surrounding the planets, a possible indicator of water vapor. Most importantly, the radiation hitting the outer planets and the amount of hydrogen surrounding them suggests these worlds, similar to Earth in many ways, might still retain atmospheric water vapor and even liquid water on the surface. Whether or not these planets could actually support life is still an open question. First of all, the observations from Hubble are not conclusive, and further observations from other observatories as well as computer simulations are required to support or dispute the possibility of water on the Trappist-1 planets. While our results suggest that the outer planets are the best candidates to search for water with the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope, they also highlight the need for theoretical studies and complementary observations at all wavelengths to determine the nature of the Trappist-1 planets and their potential habitability, says Buria. Even if there is water, the planets in the Trappist-1 system are almost certainly tidally locked with their host star, meaning the same half of their globes always faces their sun, casting half of each planet in perpetual daylight, and the other half in perpetual night. Red dwarf stars like Trappist-1 are also prone to volatile solar flares, and eruptions early in their life, introducing the possibility that any life would have been annihilated in a rain of supercharged particles ejected from the star long ago. Could life exist in such conditions? Perhaps. Certainly substantial surface water would make the prospect significantly more likely. Expect astronomers around the world to turn their telescopes to Trappist-1.